I'll tell you this right now. If Jalen Carter falls to number five in the draft, if I'm Howard Roseman and Eagles, I'm doing everything I can to trade up and get him. Dallas still stinks. Yo, by the way, King Ding back here, and hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. You know, I've heard a lot of talk about the Eagles at number 10, trading back to get more picks. A lot of people have talked about doing that. I got to tell you, I may be looking to trade up if I'm the Eagles, especially if Jalen Carter or Will Anderson fall at all in this draft. Now, before we get into it, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the most censored, most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet. Pause. And if you've been subscribed for a while, thank you guys so much for all the support you give to me. It has truly been an amazing ride, and I just want to thank you guys so much. Just do me one favor. Double check. Double moonwalk check. Make sure everything is good to go. You're still subscribed. The bell's still on. Everything is set up as it should be because this is going to be a fast and furious offseason. You definitely don't want to miss it, okay? So thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, all right. So as you guys know, the Eagles are looking for a defensive coordinator, uh, and they may just find it in Georgia, which happens just happens to be where Jalen Carter is coming out of, where Jordan Davis came out of, where N'Kobe Dean came out of. But I'm going to talk for a second about what Philly 500 came out of, okay? Because I'm an old guy. I'm old. I'm, I'm an old man, all right? Uh, I have to go get a haircut real short so I can hide my gray hairs because my wife caught me trying to put that hair thing for men on that hides the gray hairs, and she had a shit fit. So... I can't, I, I, I don't do it because she's the one that's got to look at me. So I hate gray hair. I wish I was bald. But anyways, I grew up, as I was saying, I'm an old guy. I'm an old man. I grew up uh, when the Eagles wore Kelly Green. When this was the proper logo. See that bad boy right there? That was the proper logo. The greatest logo in all of sports to this day, in my opinion. And I have been waiting. I have been fighting. I have been crying. I have been saying, I want the Kelly Green back. I want the Kelly Green back. I want the Kelly Green back. For years and years and years. Ever since I've been on YouTube, twice a year I've done a plea with the Eagles. A plea, every year, twice a year, I do a video pleading with the Eagles to bring back Kelly Green. And guess what happened? Last year, the Eagles finally made the announcement that in 2023, Kelly Green is coming back. It's going to be one of our alternate jerseys uh, now that they can actually change the helmets. Um, so I'm, I'm a su super excited about it, right? Cannot wait to see it. I haven't bought any Eagles uh, new players jerseys yet. I've been waiting for the Kelly Green. Okay, I've been waiting for it. And guess what? We're going to get it soon. And if it looks anything like this, I'm going to lose my mind. Look at this. Look at this picture. Are you kidding me? That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for that. It looks like the decal might have been a little messed up putting it on there. But oh my gosh. Does that not look unbelievable? That is so tight. That thing is awesome. I cannot wait. I might have to get one of those throwback helmets too. And, and this is... Uh, Jalen Hurts helmet, um, and then of course here's a picture of Jalen Hurts in the Kelly Green. How great does that look? I cannot believe it. I cannot wait for this. Now I don't think this is the official, uh, the official helmet of what it's going to look like. They really haven't said, but it's got to be something like that. And if I'm the Eagles, I would just put that out. That helmet is awesome. I cannot wait. And I think you know what the Eagles are doing. It actually works, right? Because you got a lot of young guys, a lot of uh, you know younger people who never grew up with Kelly Green. They only know Midnight Green, and they love Midnight Green. And I totally get it. I totally get it. So 
I think what the Eagles are doing here is the right thing. You're, you're making the Kelly Green an alternate jersey. So you still have your Midnight Green. Most of you guys will get to see that, uh, who grew up with it, and uh, you'll be happy. But an old school, an old timer like me, who really views the Eagles as Kelly Green, still to this day, when I think of the Eagles, I think of that Kelly Green. Um, to get it back and be able to have that still, uh, be part of the organization of the team, I think it's absolutely awesome. And if you look also at the word mark, the word mark, the Eagles word mark is awesome. Uh, I'm just glad that it's coming back in some some way. Uh, you know, so everybody should be happy. The, the, the new younger people that like the Midnight Green and want to keep it. The old people who hate the Kelly Green, they still got the Midnight, or hate the Kelly Green. There's old people, can you believe that, hate Kelly Green? But the older people that like the Midnight Green, they got it. And then us old school people or even young people that like the old throwback Kelly Green, we're going to get it. Everybody's getting something, and I like it. I like it. So uh, I'm very excited to see this thing. Um, I can't wait. I just can't wait to see the Eagles take the field. I might I might cry. I might actually start crying when it happens. I, I ain't kidding, you know, but it's going to be awesome. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is a few things, actually. Uh, you guys probably know that the Eagles have spoken or speaking to uh, Glenn Schumann, um, the, the defense coordinator of the Georgia Bulldogs. Um, he is a very interesting person to actually speak to. And if I'm the Eagles, and if, well, I'll say this, if the Eagles go out and hire him, um, ah, man, would, you know, to me, that may be a sneaky good hire because you get a guy who knows the Kobe Dean, knows Jordan Davis, he also knows Jalen Carter. And I got to tell you, I, I would not be upset about this. Uh, you know, a defensive coordinator coming from college, sometimes it's sort of risky, but I would I would take a chance. I have no issue with it. Um, preferably, I would like to have Rex Ryan. Uh, that's who I would like to hire. Bring in Rex Ryan and let him get at that defense and let them go at it. I think it would, he would be a great hire. Uh, don't look like the Eagles are going to do that. I think they want to get a young coach. A coach out of college is it looks like that's what they're they're possibly thinking. Um, so who knows? By the time this video comes out, he, he might have said he might have not taken a job. Who knows? But um, Glenn uh, Schumann is an interesting name, and I'm I, I'm I'm open to the idea. But I got to tell you this: whether they hire him or they don't hire him, if I'm the Philadelphia Eagles and I sit there and I'm picking at number ten in this draft. And I see Jalen Carter drop to number five, or Will Anderson, five or six. I'm trading up. I'm doing everything I can to trade up for one of those two guys. Uh, and the reason I say that is this. You've got a lot of guys who are going to leave, right? you got Hargrave, Fletcher Cox, uh, Bradbury. Uh, I mean, they're talking about $20 million a year for Hargrave. How are the Eagles going to afford that? You're better off taking two first round picks you have two second round picks the following year package some picks together move on up and get Jalen Carter now you have Jordan Davis and Carter as your future defensive tackles both on rookie contracts the next what three four years so it would be a, a really good move in my opinion and you're getting a young blue chip players and that's what I think the Eagles are going to need they're going to need not just to replace players with quantity, right? There's so much talk all the time about trade back, get more picks. Yeah, you may get a lot of different players that you pick, but are they the are they quality? I rather have quality over quantity. And I think if you have an opportunity to go up and get a blue chip player, a possibly game changer in Jalen Carter or Will Anderson, I think you have to do it, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I think if the Eagles did that, let's say if they did draft Jalen Carter, let's say he falls to five, the Eagles trade up and they get him, okay? So they trade up and they get him. Then, you know, I assume Jalen, uh, I assume Fletcher Cox walked. I assume Javon Hargrave walked. Let them both go, and then you go with the rookies at defensive tackle. That'll free up some money for other spots. You could do something like that. I think the Eagles have to think outside the box. I think they have to look 
to replenish talent, especially on the defensive side of the ball, in a way that isn't going to kill them money-wise. You can't sign Hargrave, uh, Bradbury, all these guys with all the money or, or with what they're looking look like they're going to get. They're talking about $20 million for Hargrave. I have a hard time believing he's going to get $20 million a year. However, I do think he's going to get about $15, $16 million a year. Then you got Bradbury. He's going to get, what, $16, $17 million a year. Then you got to pay, um, you know, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. What's he going to get? $14, $15 million a year. So these guys are going to all make a lot of money. You can't possibly keep all of them. I think... If you have an opportunity to get a Jalen Carter or package picks to go up and get him, I think it would be a huge move. You need those foundational pieces for the future, okay? You've got two first-round picks. If he falls to five, I'm going to take my 10th pick, my, uh, my what, 31st pick. I'm going to take a second-round pick maybe next year because I have two and figure out how I can get up there and do it and go up, and I'm going to draft him. I think he's, I think he's possibly... He's possibly the best player in this draft. I think he's going to be an absolute stud. And we're talking about Jalen Carter uh, at the next level. I think he's a guy who could be a, a real game changer. You combine him with Jordan Davis, that's not bad. Now, if you add Glenn, Sh- Glenn Schumann, the defensive coordinator, uh, with those guys who he knows, uh, it may be the perfect match. But everybody's talking about trading back and getting more picks. I'm open to that too, okay? But if... If Jalen Carter or Will Anderson fall, I'm moving up and getting them. I'd rather get the blue chip player, the guy that I know is a foundational piece for years to come. Um, I could always figure a way to get more draft picks. I think that guys like that are hard to get, especially when you're looking at paying a Jalen Hurts, what, 50 something million dollars. The, the way that you're able to pay a quarterback and be able to still put a competitive team on the field you have to be very, very good in the draft. You have to hit on your picks. By drafting a Jalen Carter or Will Anderson, you increase the chances that you're going to hit big time, dramatically. And that's what the Eagles need to do. They need to hit on their first pick that they pick. And if I can go up and get them, I'm definitely going to do it. There's time to trade back. There's a time to trade up. I think with everything going on with the Eagles and the players that they may lose, I think this is a great time to possibly trade up for one of those two guys. Now, if one of those two guys, if they both are gone, whatever, then you just stay where you're at or you trade back. I'm open to all possibilities. But trading up is not something we've heard much about. I've heard a lot of trading back. And I think the play here may be to trade up and get one of those blue chip players. With that said, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember. It's how we vision. We're all just living in it. You know what? It is time to bring back 3D TVs. Like, seriously. Like, I'm ready for 3D TVs. When people go to the movies and they sit there and they watch a movie in 3D, they, a lot of people go, I went to movie theater. It's packed. People still using 3D glasses. What happened to the 3D TVs? I want to bring it back. I like the 3D movies. You know, you can get, if you get the 3D glasses from the movie theaters, you use that kind of 3D technology, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I got, I got a bunch of Blu-ray 3Ds. I sit them and watch, and watch them all the time. But now, they're not making 3D TVs anymore. That's ridiculous. I need to start something. We need to fight to bring back 3D TVs, man. We need to fight to bring them. Because, to me, they're awesome. Denzel Washington out.